Hi everyone, it's Jake here. Uh, as you can see, we're looking at uh, the Gadget Crazy blog, and at the moment, it's the basic install, and it looks quite dull. Uh, and what we want to do is give ourselves some design options, and how how I'm going to do that is by installing the Thesis theme for WordPress. Uh, thesis theme is a really really powerful tool for web design and promoting your blog in search engines and stuff, uh, and I highly recommend it. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go over to cPanel and uh, we go down to File Manager and we'll go to the yep, home directory doo -doo -doo -doo. get us into public HTML uh, we need to upload the thesis files now thesis is a, a paid theme so you have to go sign up pay for it and download the files their instructions are really good but I'm just going to take, take you through them in video form um, we go into WP content. This is it. this is in our WordPress installation, and we go into themes. And what we're going to do is upload uh, thesis. I'm using thesis 1.6. That's the most current version as of this video. Uh, now we're just going to wait for that to upload. Shouldn't take too long. And. It's done. All right, so now we'll refresh the screen here. All right, so we've got the thesis uploaded into the themes folder. Now we need to extract it. Extract files. Close. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we go into thesis, the thesis folder. And we need to, because this is a new install of Thesis, we are going to rename the um, the custom folder. We'll get rid of the sample bit and just make it the custom, make it straight custom. And this is where any changes you make to the, the theme or the design or whatever, that's where it gets stored. And it makes backing up everything really easy. So we've changed custom sample to custom and we need to make sure that the um, layout.css file in custom, so this file here, this needs to have permissions, uh, the permissions changed to 666. That allows Thesis to um, make design changes to your site. Alright, so that's basically everyone gets right access. Okay, so that's, we've changed that, we've changed permission to 666, and now um, a really good idea is if you change the custom cache folder to 775 uh, that allows thesis to auto crop images for you uh, and that's that's that can be really useful like it's a it saves a lot of pain in the neck stuff resizing images when you upload them to your blog alright so that's that's all the folder stuff done uh, now we'll go back to gadgetcrazy.org and we'll sign in. And now we, we're in the WordPress dashboard and we go to Appearance, Themes, and here's the WordPress theme that we want to start, Thesis, and we click on Activate Thesis. All right, so that's how easy it is to install Thesis. Now you have a huge array of options. Um, uh, the way I've got the window resized there, all in one column, but um, you have a huge amount of options for uh, the way your site is organized and run, and also a huge amount of design options. And uh, I'd recommend getting the Thesis Open Hook plugin. In fact, we'll do that right now. Add new because that makes editing thesis open hook. That makes adding in new features dead simple. It's just incredible. And we'll install that. Install now. Activate plugin. Uh, okay, so this you're now set up to be able to go nuts customizing your blog. This is what the default install looks like. 
Uh, it doesn't quite fit in the window size that I have, but um, it's an incredibly powerful tool, and that's how easy it is to get started. All right, thanks, guys.